Greetings. Georgia sent a second group of rescuers to Turkey. The number of victims as a result of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria exceeded 11,200 people, and the number of people affected by the disaster in only 10 provinces of Turkey exceeds 50,000 people. Two citizens of Georgia have not yet been found in the rubble in Turkey, two have died, and two are missing. The embassy of Georgia in Turkey is working in emergency mode. The baku tbilisi sehan pipeline in Turkey was not damaged. Russian citizens in Turkey rushed to move to Georgia. The Russians have become leaders in demand for the purchase of real estate in Georgia. The EU has warned Georgia of sanctions if air links with Russia are resumed and called on Georgia to comply with aviation restrictions against Russia. Over the past eight years, about 3% of the population of Georgia applied for asylum in the European Union. Unemployment and high inflation remain the main motive for migration from Georgia. Today, February 8, Georgia celebrates Davitoba, the day of memory of the Holy King David the Builder. The Georgian king from the Bagrationi dynasty, the son of George II, ascended the throne at the age of 16 in 1089. Tbilisi State University is celebrating its 105th anniversary today. Tbilisi City Hall will equip tourist paths between Turtle Lake and Vake Park. In the event that the Georgian national basketball team beats Iceland at home, it will play at the World Championship for the first time. Georgian basketball player from the Italian club Virtus Tornike Shengelia will join the Georgian national team in the 2023 World Cup qualifiers against the Netherlands and Iceland. Good luck to all of you.